Gotcha. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you for that. I swear I didn't pay him for that, but I might pay you after. I'll pay you commission. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're outside Deuce Diner in North Vancouver. Yes, that is right. So this is an excellent, really, really cool diner. We're talking scratch kitchen. We're talking local fresh ingredients. This is like, if you ever want a unique experience, this is the place to come. So we're gonna head on in, we're gonna have some food. Me and my friend Scott are here to do their massive, yes, massive, 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 chicken and waffles challenge that's right guys so we're talking the world's biggest at least the biggest I've seen chicken and waffles challenge so we have loads of waffles a stack of chicken not to mention hopefully you get to try some other items hopefully we'll have some time to do that because the meal and the menu looks exceptional so that everybody let's head on in and see what we do and let's have some fun so here in front of us we have what is absolutely Canada's biggest chicken and waffles here guys this is an insane item insane challenge I can't wait to get into it we have you know what, I'm just, we're gonna grab the owner, Don. She's gonna tell us all about this because there's so many unique items. Everything, like I said, made here. It smells absolutely delicious. We got their homemade gravy, chicken, the waffles. So let's grab Don, she's gonna tell us about it here. We're here with the owner, Don. So Don, tell us a little about the chicken, about the gravy, about the waffles. Like, this looks phenomenal, it smells so good. You got it, yeah. So we have, we use a really good uh, raw down chicken. Raw well, And cool. we uh, marinate it for 24 hours in buttermilk and a hot sauce and onions. Then we lightly bread it, but I say lightly, but we kind of douse it in some uh, seasoned panko and uh, flour and eggs, and then it's deep fried, of course. And then we have buttermilk waffles, because why not go double down on buttermilk, right? Nice. And then our gravy, of course, is made with some uh, chicken bones that we have roast the bone to make the stock to make the gravy. And we like to put a little of homemade hot sauce on there, the gravy, even to put an egg on there, so you like. Yeah, so you guys make your own hot sauce, too. Yeah. So homemade hot sauce, guys. Homemade chicken, like you said, homemade gravy, everything scratch here, guys. Buttermilk, buttermilk, buttermilk galore. And this looks delicious, it smells great. So, uh, Scott, ready to get eaten here a moment? Yeah, I'm starving, man. Thank That's good. good. We're ready. So, hey, thank, thank you, you so much, much. and uh, let's get going here. So we only have 20 minutes to eat this thing, but I think we should be all right. Uh, let us make sure we grab a timer here, and then we're gonna get started. So 20 minutes, guys. Homemade hot sauce, real maple syrup, delicious freaking gravy, sausage gravy. Scott didn't put his on, I put mine on already. I jumped the gun. But that, Scott, ready to get going, brother? Let's do it. Okay, so how do we get started? We'll say the count of five, four, ooh, three, two, one. Let's eat. Cheers. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. You, you, gotta try, you gotta try that gravy. Mm. That's delicious. So that's a chicken breast. Yeah. That is so tender though. It's not dry at all. Tender, crisp, woo. Love it. Beautiful. Mmm. I smell that with hot sauce. Don't try that. Do I waffle? Dude, that is a delicious waffle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Buttery. So the hot sauce. Oh yeah, beautiful flavor. Nice little bit of heat, but accents it. Not overpowering. Let me know what it's done. Oh yeah! Adds a nice little uh, heat to it, but nothing overpowering, so delicious. Mm. 
Let's sauce and gravy, that's delicious. First time I ever had something like that was in the South. The sausage gravy, that kind of white gravy, the Southern gravy. Country style gravy, as they call it. I'm so glad that you can now get it here in a great, delicious, authentic form here in Canada. Do style. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are at Deuce's Diner, guys. Deuce Diner in North Vancouver, guys, and so excited. Oh my gosh, this chicken and waffles, so delicious. You heard us already talking about the food. I couldn't stop talking about the food. The flavors were just so exceptional. They were so on point. It was like pretty much everything you wanted. And the one I think I really like about chicken and waffles, it's just like, it's kind of like a home, it just makes you feel homey, like home cooked meal, Christmas, holidays, all that good stuff. And here we are very much enjoying it. Yeah, you'll be freaking delicious on this too. Mm. Like when you order this normally, you can put like an egg on it. Dude, like a runny egg, like a sunny side up egg. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, over the egg and over the, over the chicken and waffle. Yes. And for this giant stack of chicken and waffles, we only had a mere 20 minutes, so definitely not a lot of time for such a high amount of food. Um, but I will say the high amount of food also was very high quality, as I've said a thousand times. The waffles were so buttermilky. I don't think I've ever had like a more buttery, buttermilky waffle ever. The flavors were great. The chicken was a very basic chicken uh, with the panko on it. And when I say basic, I mean that it just allows you to add flavors. The flavors went so well. The spices in it mixed with the gravy, the syrups just were perfect. So about four minutes in. Delicious. I don't have anything else to say. I think chicken and waffles is up there with one of the greatest brunch dishes ever, being you have your breakfast, your waffle, and you have your chicken, which is your lunch. Um, definitely chicken and waffles is not as common in Canada. It's becoming increasingly common in Canada, but definitely, again, something you see more in the southern United States and in, well, I mean, I think it's becoming more an internationally well-known global item all around. But if you haven't tried it, definitely try it. Buttermilk. Yeah, it's, dude, it's beautiful. The buttermilk flavor, that butter flavor. Really good. Water. It's phenomenal. Yeah, <laughs> so good. More gravy? I mean, I'm, I'm still scotch. So this is fantastic. Thank you so much. Hey, that's good one. <laughs> I'll share. I'll share. Uh -huh. Although it is very delicious, I do want a little bit more. Have it all, man. I used all mine. I really like the hot sauce. I have gravy fire. And it tastes good on both the chicken and the waffle. Cool thing about Deuce Diner, they are big supporters of local, uh, fresh, like they're, they don't have walk-in fridges. They have very small fridges because everything is coming in so fresh. There's nothing being frozen. It is like what you see is what you get and the quality and the passion of the owners for their food comes through. The menu is also super unique. They had a whole bunch of different items, everything from a brulee, like a burnt uh, banana split. They had a whole bunch of eggs, Benedicts and stuff. And I will say just, oh my gosh, like, Yes, just yes. Scott, you're team waffles or team pancakes? Definitely waffles. Yes, amen, waffles. Although guys, I don't know what you guys are, let us know down below, team waffles, team pancakes, I'm hashtag team waffle. I thought it was also super unique that they made their own hot sauce, and that's something I'm really not used to seeing. And again, something which I feel is less common, especially in Canada, when hot sauces, although they are again incre becoming increasingly common, increasingly popular, not a lot of like Canadian originating dishes are super spicy. So I will say guys, like the hot sauce was really, really nice. You got a lot of uh, like a really nice pepper flavor along with some tomato, kind of balanced it out. It had a lot of spice. When I say spice, like a lot of flavor, but it wasn't heavy, heavy, heavy on the heat. And again, so when you have kind of that beautiful uh, canvas of the chicken on the waffles, again, both with the flavor combinations really allowing 
uh, the accenting notes of that hot sauce to take play. It was great. You know, a little bit of kind of a garlic or onion in there, um, but just enough that it just really gave you this nice dynamic, but a really nice level of heat. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you can't tell, we're already through half a bottle of hot sauce. And like I said, guys, absolutely no complaints. Not to mention how cute this restaurant is. Very cute little spot here. And uh, yeah, just north Vancouver, guys. Just north of the city. Definitely recommend. 7.45. My bad. <laughs> Scott's making a mess. But it's delicious. I'm going to try to put a little maple syrup on this thing. Alright, real maple shell. Ooh, wee. So with that, everybody, if you're ever in the Greater Vancouver area, this is definitely a restaurant I would come back to. This is definitely a restaurant, a location I would recommend. Um, as I mentioned, the food, the flavors were exceptional. The staff were really, really great. However, that being said, hopefully, hopefully we can get the wins on this chicken and waffle challenge. Like I said, guys, we only had a mere 20 minutes. So let's tune on in, see if we can finish this up. All these delicious orders of chicken and waffles. And wish us luck, fingers crossed, and let's get it going. I'm glad we found this place. This is awesome. What a great challenge too, right? Very unique. And great food. Yeah. Definitely worth the trip over the bridge or you know from back there. Yeah. Look at this, guys. He's just mowing down on the hot sauce. And you know Joel with hot sauce. He's, you know. It means but it's really good. It means it is. Yeah, this was full. It's over half gone. Dude, you gotta try some. I'm gonna try something else, like everything else in the menu. Mm. This is beautiful. Yeah, let's do it. Do they do a banana split where they caramelize the banana, like torch it? Really? Yeah. Mm. Sounds like a great dessert idea. I should great minds to delight. All right, so just over 10 and a half minutes in. Joel's down to his last chicken and waffle, and I've got about two left, so we're both almost there. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. You, you got the baby. Oh, so good. You probably noticed too, the pace hasn't slowed at all. That means the food is nice and warm. It's tasting so delicious all the way through. And we'll be done in a couple minutes here. It really makes a big difference. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm.
I still can't get over how good that gravy is, that peppercorn gravy. Woo. Can't leave no doubt. And now we're done. It's about 13 minutes, five seconds, five, six seconds for me. Scott's right behind me. So tune in as Scott continues to complete the challenge there. He's gonna crush it. I'll get you some more water, man. I'll do that. Thank you. The owner approves, so that's a good thing. <laughs> we, might be, we might be invited back. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not leaving yet. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Never thought I'd eat gravy with a knife. <laughs> but it's that good. Awesome. Thanks, thanks so much. Appreciate it. We're impressed. Can I go smaller? Yes, please. So how does one train for such a feat? Hmm? You just gotta love to eat. Yeah. Somehow be. Your mom must touch you well. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Over half a bottle of hot sauce. Very good. And that gravy. Very, very good. Everything. Very, very good. And Scott just finished up there. So about 15 minutes, 30 seconds. Yeah. Congrats, Scott. Thank so you, my dude. My friend. So that, everybody, absolutely delicious, delicious, delicious chicken and waffles here at Deuce Diner. Would recommend. North Van, repping the strong guys. Great food over here. You know, Every time I've been over here with great food, this, it just keeps getting better. So like I said guys, I gotta check out that menu. They're making everything from scratch, scratch kitchen guys. The amount of butter they're putting in things and stuff, you know it's real. Let's try some more items, dude. I love it. Yeah, let's do it. I think this was yeah. so damn good, we gotta get some more. So let's show you those. And uh, well, if it's not in this video, it'll be in another one. But with that, thank you so much for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this part of the video, or at least enjoyed this challenge. Definitely would recommend. Come check out the Juice Diner, guys. Great food, great location, great staff, yeah. great hospitality. Scott, any words? No, I mean, I, it was so good. We gotta have more. Yeah, that's it. So let's get some more diner food, yeah. guys. This is amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Fresh local. That's it. We're having a great day. Hope you have a lovely day, guys. And uh, let's get some more eating here momentarily. But until next time, you know what to do. A beautiful scenic sunset down at White Rock Pier in the Surrey and Vancouver area. Absolutely stunning. Do a second take. Beautiful trees. Look at that sky. Pink, yellow. I found this. Can't beat that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so I think it's Boathouse. Gorgeous. And look at all the beautiful oh, yeah. lights along the water here. They got the trees all lit up. Hashtag Christmas season, I guess. Or maybe they're lit up all the time. But literally beautiful. Just so beautiful. Love the scenery. Love the sunset. It is definitely a little chilly. Little chilly out that is for sure. But it is very nice down there. I very like. It is officially basically December. So 
much cold, much nice, but this warm place in Canada comparatively, so much good. Some really nice looking bathrooms with a big decorative thing out front. And then here we go, White Rock, BC, Canada. Apparently this is Canada's longest pier. Although I would like to get that fact checked because, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pretty long, but it doesn't look that long, so we'll go find out. cool to see the land, you can see all the lights at night here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, this is a long pier, I still don't know if it's Canada's longest, but apparently. 